I just set that big heavy prick all by myself. Just got my propanes off the barge. I'm pulling firewood in and out of here with my dozer. These are some big rounds right here, big. I gotta pack them up the hill yet. Butchering them down to size a little bit. And they don't bust easy. These are tough, big pieces of wood. It'll come blister or bleed. Yeah, these ones got a lot of knots on them. Sometimes I cut them knots. See, I'll cut them in half. And that'll help them, other than being down in the middle somewhere. If you can make your chain set cut, cut on them, it'll help. And some wood splits better one way or the other. But I think I have this one figured out. My dad taught me to split wood. He was the best. And that one might need spunt. But there's a crack there. There's a knot probably holding it here. <laughs> Brains <laughs> and brawn. <laughs> a good combination. It's a winning combination. And don't hurt to be good looking. Now this one. Looks pretty tight. I'll go right here. See that little cleft? Well, it probably is the hardest wood, but sometimes hard's good. It lets it pop. You hit it out here where it's soft, it just absorbs the blow. Brains and brawn. They ain't splitting wood that size with that many licks in Virginia, I'll warrant. Look at that big split. See it? It'll go like this. With a couple whacks. Got a nice cut right here, natural check. I think I'll take this one under six.
just now popped. Oh, there's number four. Four! <laughs> That's well under six. <laughs> you better like to cut wood if you're thinking about getting in on this gig. Living in the northern wilderness or taking on loan. Wood choppering better be your long suit. <laughs>